Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today, I'm gonna to be helping you guys find your installer code for your Honeywell or Residio Vista 21 IP. Now, today we're gonna to be using the Vista 21 IP. I have a 6160, a 6150 keypad. 6160 is an alphanumeric, which is why you see it actually spells out disarmed, ready to arm. And then the 6150 is fixed English. So it just has the ready light, and uh, AC in the corner letting me know that the um, transformer is plugged in. Now, there's going to be various situations where you might need the installer code. For instance, if you just bought a brand new system, then the code should come defaulted and you need the installer code because that's what you actually use to program the system if you're doing it from an often mirror keypad, which is what we recommend to use for programming. Um, now, the installer code is what allows you to go into the programming mode and change the panel settings, the zone settings, uh, configure zones, configure dialer delays, central station information, all that stuff you need the installer code for. Now, we also have other situations where you may have moved into a house and there's already an existing system there and the previous owners didn't leave you the codes. The only way to find your true installer code is to test the installer code, which is always going to be four digits, and then the 800 command after. So for instance, if your installer code, if you have a default system, it comes with the default installer code of 4112. That means you have to enter in 4112800, and that'll put you into programming. The way to know if you're in programming, the screen will actually say uh, installer code 20 if you're using a 6160. And if you're using a 6150, which is the fixed English, it'll only say 20 on the screen. So right now my panel is defaulted. Um, so we're treating it as a brand new system. If I enter in 4112800, installer code 20 on the screen. And then since both keypads are linked to the same system, this one also goes into programming mode and you'll see 20 on the screen. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and exit out. Always exit out using star 99. If you do any other command, you may be locking yourself out of programming, um, which if you lock yourself out of programming, I'm going to show you guys how to do a backdoor method to get into programming. So what happens for those of you who the panel is not new, 4112-800 did not work. It did not take you into the installer code menu. That means you're going to have to either contact the previous owners and hope that they know it, or you're going to have to contact the previous company and hope that they give it to you. Some companies will not give you the installer code because they claim that it is a security breach. Um, keep in mind, the installer code is never used or should never be used to arm the system. The only time you can use the installer code to disarm an alarm system is if it has been armed with the installer code. So that's why over here at Alarm Grid, we always keep the, the installer codes defaulted and we always make sure you know the difference between your installer code, your master codes, which that's what you use to arm the system, or your other sub-user codes, which is, again, other codes that you give out to maybe employees, your family members, um, people that come and do maintenance on your house. You may wanna make extra codes for them. But the installer code is only ever used to go into programming, never to arm or disarm. All right. Um, so going back to what I was saying, what happens if you don't know the installer code um, and it's not going into programming? The only other thing you can do at that point is to backdoor into the system. To backdoor into the system, you have to power it completely down. So you have to unplug the transformer and unplug the backup battery and I'm going to show you the commands here in a second. Alright, so right here we have our Vista 21 IP, we have our backup battery and I have my transformer plugged into uh, an outlet out to the side. Um, the transformer or the power supply looks like this. Uh, it's a big beige brick and it's going to be plugged into a wall outlet. What you're going to want to do first Go ahead and unplug the transformer from the wall when you're powering it down. So you unplug it from the wall. Give me one moment. After you unplug the transformer from the wall, 
you now unplug the backup battery. I'm just gonna unplug the red wire. It doesn't matter what wire you unplug, the red or the black, you just need to unplug one. Once you have the transformer unplugged from the wall and you unplugged one of the wires from the backup battery, we're gonna go ahead and look at the keypads just to make sure that they're completely off. After you've checked the keypads and you've confirmed that the LCD uh, displays are now off, you know that you have powered down the system completely. Some people have multiple transformers throughout the house and they don't know which one belongs to the system. I guarantee you there is a transformer in your house. You just have to find it. I've seen installers plug this in at, on the roof of the garages where the garage motor plugs into. Um, sometimes it's not always in the most obvious spot because they don't want anyone just coming, knocking it out by accident or trying to power your system down. So if you got a good installer that installed the system, he more than likely put the transformer somewhere that's not in plain view. So you will have to do some searching for it if it's not next to an outlet right next to the system. All right, so after I've confirmed that my, uh, my keypads are completely off, uh, I'm gonna have to power it back on. Now, you don't have to plug the backup battery in uh, right away. Uh, if you want, you can. It's not gonna power on the system. So watch, I'll go ahead and plug the little red wire back in now. I just put it back on the lead. And again, the keypads aren't powering on. The only time the panel will power on is when you plug the transformer in. So as soon as you plug the transformer in, you have a time limit of 50 seconds. You have 50 seconds to head over to the keypad and you're gonna press and hold star and pound. Now it doesn't matter if you're using a 6160 or a 6150. It helps if you have a 6160 if you're gonna do deep level programming. But if you're just trying to get the installer code, you can do it with either or. You just have to press star and pound upon powering up. So I'm gonna plug in the transformer now just to show you guys. It, they start powering on immediately. I'm gonna go ahead and hit star and pound and you're gonna hold it down until it says installer code 20 and it's almost immediate. So again, this is the process you would do if you do not have the installer code. Once you're in programming, you can go ahead and default or change your installer code. Right now I have mine as 4112. If I wanna change it to 4111, I have to enter in my command star two zero it's already in the field, but sometimes we just want to make sure. We're going to hit star two zero and then our new installer code. So I'm going to hit star two zero and I'm going to change it to four one one one. Those three things are to confirm that the code has been accepted. And if I want to try it, oh, by the way, it jumps to the next field after you've completed that field. Um, if I want to test out my installer code, I'm going to hit star 99 to exit. It brings me back to the main screen. And again, remember I just changed my installer code to 4111. So that means I have to use 4111 and then 800 after that. So I'm gonna enter in 4111800 and that should put me into installer programming. Now again, I was just showing you guys that you can change the installer code to make it your own. Um, Another thing you can do, if you want to display the current installer code, you can hit pound two zero, and it will actually scroll through the numbers four one one one. So it gives you four dings, and it'll actually show you the current installer code. So as you saw, it said four one one one. I'm not going to leave it as that. I want to default it. So I'm again, I'm going to do my code to enter it to change it, which is star two zero four one. One, two. Jumps to the next field, and I'm just gonna hit star 99 to exit out. Yes, so that is just a quick video. As you can see, if you have a new system, your, your system should be defaulted with the installer code 4112. If you're moving into a house and you don't have your installer code, you will need to do the backdoor method. Sometimes, companies can even lock you out. Um, of doing the backdoor method. If you try the backdoor method and you hear a long air tone beep when you press and hold star and pound, that means you are locked out of programming and that the panel is bricked. Um, so you more than likely, the best option at that point would be to replace it with a brand new one. But if you guys need any help whatsoever, feel free to contact us at support at alarmgrid.com. 
If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon to enable notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.